I've had a bit of a reputation of being hard on lead vocalists. That's because most of the vocalists you guys like are garbage. So right now, I'm gonna give you my top five overrated rock bands. May God help us all. Is Linkin Park even a rock band, guys? There's some weird fusion between rock and rap, and the rock is not that good, and the rap is not that good, but somehow when you put it together, everybody just let slide. You're not a good rock and roll singer. You're not a good rapper, Fort Minor. But when you come together, it's something new. So let's say it's good. Music is all right, but totally overrated. I know the name. I've probably heard a couple of their tunes, but I'm really not qualified to talk about them. I have love for our Australian brothers. I hear the toilet flushes the opposite way down there. And that's awesome. However, ACDC, they're not bad, but they're not good. ACDC is the alternative to like Ozzy Osbourne and Kiss, those bands, you're like, they're really good. It's like, oh, and ACDC, you kind of just throw them in there. I think it's more like a big fish in a little pool type thing with them. It's like, hey, they're from Australia. Hey, that's a nice, neat thing. It's like when people say, I got a black friend. Where are your other white friends? You're like, oh yeah, Steve knows what's going on. He has a black friend. I've always thought they were a tight band and that they're both their lead singers. I think they're a good band, but it's just not my kind of music. So in terms of them being overrated, no, I think they're one of the best acts in that particular genre. It just isn't a genre that appeals to me. Once again, on the lines of Linkin Park, what are you? Limp Biscuit is the vanilla ice of my generation. I'm not gonna sit here and dog them because I listened to Limp Biscuit a lot when I was young, but it's one of those things when you go back and listen to Limp Biscuit now, you're like, what were we thinking? We did this. This is probably the reason why the world is not a better place now. Totally overrated band. Limp Biscuit is like uh, Linkin Park. You know, again, I've heard their stuff, but I don't know them. I can't really render an opinion. Okay, a lot of y'all are gonna say, oh my God, he's just a hater. You asshole. Early YouTube was great. YouTube, <sighs> overratedness comes from the fact they've been around so damn long and they've been so prevalent. They're collapsing under their own weight. Do you remember all those iPhone owners? We updated our OS and then after we updated our OS, Bono was there. For this new album that we didn't ask for? Yeah, take it. Mmm, take it. Totally overrated. Bono, love you. You're saving the children and the whales, but bruh. Yeah. Totally overrated, Ben. <sighs> you too. I love early U2. They played the club where I used to work. Up until, say, Octoon Baby, which is what, 89? To me, with the exception of It's a Beautiful Day, which one song, they haven't done a song since then that I've liked. Octoon Baby was their last album they become like the Rolling Stones. Incredible band with an incredible repertoire of music, but it's in the past. No, they're not overrated. They really are a great band. Pearl Jam is the Michael Bolton of rock music. <laughs> I feel like if I die and hell is real, they're gonna be torturing me with Pearl Jam songs. They're not even rocky. If Pearl Jam did like cool jazz, I think they'll be awesome. If you pair Pearl Jam's lead singer with Michael Bolton and Kenny G, that will be an epic ass concert. It will put you to sleep in 10 minutes. That has to be like the greatest sleep album ever made. Somebody make that happen. That's a billion dollar idea. I don't like the singing. I don't like their music. I don't like any of their stuff. And Jeremy, oh God, the video, the song, it actually gives me a headache. Yeah, they're overrated. As always, hate mail is welcome. Give me your opinion. Tokyo Stash Spade. May God have mercy on all our souls. <laughs>